The FBI's raid on Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate has just gotten even more scandalous. Special Counsel Jack Smith admitted the FBI added cover sheets to the alleged classified documents found there. In this video, we will get into the details of this tampering and its implications. And it is yet more proof that the FBI has been weaponized, is out of control, and needs to be reined in. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a bombshell revelation about the FBI's raid on former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. The scandal just got darker and sicker, so stick around because you won't believe what's happening. Special Counsel Jack Smith admitted in court that the FBI added cover sheets to the alleged classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago and took photos of the evidence. Yes, you heard that right. Tampering with evidence. The FBI. Anybody else would go to prison for that. Now, this move was designed to make Americans believe Trump knew the documents were wrong and they were classified and therefore he was guilty. And they relied on the fact that most Americans don't know that Trump declassified everything he brought to Mar-a-Lago to look over before declaring what was presidential records and what was going to be given back to the National Archives. Writer Julie Kelly, who has been all over the story like White on Rice, published court records revealing this tampering. She posted on X, holy shit, special counsel Jack Smith just admitted the FBI added cover sheets to alleged classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago and took photos for evidence. This confirms my report from last month that the FBI doctored evidence to produce stunt photos of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. Now, doesn't that sound like the FBI was weaponized against Trump? And who weaponized them? Well, Joe Biden and Merrick Garland. That's who. In May, District Court Judge Eileen Cannon postponed the criminal classified materials case against Trump indefinitely to allow for an impartial evaluation of the tampered documents. This delay threatens special counsel Jack Smith's team's ability to go to trial before the November election. Now, what happens if they can't make it to trial before the election? I think if Trump wins, he needs to make an example out of everyone who was involved in this, from Biden and Garland right down to the FBI agents who followed orders. This can't stand. According to Julie Kelly, the FBI's colored cover sheets were included in classified discovery, suggesting that prosecutors wanted to keep the details hidden from the public. Of course, they knew what they were doing was breaking the law. In another tweet, Kelly said, FBI agents allegedly found loose classified cover sheets in a blue leather bound box in Trump's office. Then suddenly some of them were attached to classified documents. Also, why are FBI placeholder sheets in classified discovery? Kelly tweeted, as I reported last month, the FBI brought colored classified cover sheets to the raid under the guise of using them to substitute classified documents found within Trump's boxes. Instead, FBI agents attached the scary looking sheets to various files and took photos. In DOJ's opposition to Trump's special master lawsuit in 2022, Jay Bratt attached an infamous photo as a prop so the media would publish it and claim the papers were found with classified cover sheets. Those were the same classified cover sheets that the FBI tampered and put them on there. They were never on there. Can you imagine the moose nuts on these people? These photos were then used to paint Trump as reckless with sensational stories popping up everywhere from TMZ to Rolling Stone. But the story doesn't end there. Weeks after the raid, the New York Times published an article explaining how the photo came about, stating that it was standard protocol for handling evidence. Really? Standard protocol or a convenient excuse? It was not standard protocol. Ask any real FBI agent. Meanwhile, more court documents show the FBI had permission to use deadly force against Trump during the raid. Trump now faces 40 counts of mishandling classified papers, courtesy of Smith's investigation. It's unbelievable. President Joe Biden, on the other hand, managed to dodge felony charges for mishandling classified data back in February. He wasn't even a president at the time he took them. Special counsel Robert Hur determined that Biden was too senile to stand trial. Yet he's OK to be commander in chief with his finger on the button, right? 
He has the nuclear codes right next to him. Her's team declined to bring charges despite finding multiple troves of documents in Biden's garage, offices, and basement den. Talk about a double standard. Why is there always a double standard that works out in the favor of the Democrats and against the Republicans? It's never the other way around. In his interview with her, Biden mixed up current events with the Iraq war, forgot his tenure as vice president, and couldn't remember accurate details about his son Bo's death. How do you think he's going to do in tonight's debate? That's going to be epic. Her noted, quote, Biden would likely present himself to the jury as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. It sounds like Biden's memory issues worked in his favor, right? All right, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and get ready because this culture war is raging on. See you in the next one. From the bottom to the top, I grind every day. It's hard for haters. I'm here to slay. Stepping on a doubter, no time to rest. I'm like a freight train, I'm the best. Yeah, chasing dreams, no matter what it takes. I'm on fire and there's no break.